Hello everybody, this is Explorer 867 and today is the first day of the rest of your life so get out and enjoy it. Get out in the field and see something new. Uh, today I'm uh, at the home base, been kind of rained in. It's been raining here in central Oregon uh, pretty steady uh, today and so I uh, decided that I'd go ahead and do the follow-up on these uh, Vapor Trek 17-inch snake boots uh, that I had released a video on uh, earlier this summer. Uh, I told you that I'd get back to you on a water test on these to, to prove the uh, waterproof uh, characteristics of the boot. And I'll get to that at the end of the video here. Um, but I wanted to, to tell you about the boot itself. Uh, it's a Vapor Trek 17 inch snake boot. Uh, it's uh, made by uh, Red Wing. And uh, it's, it's called, uh, it's, the boot is an Irish setter by Red Wing. Uh, the boot itself is exceedingly lightweight, which is really, really nice. If you're out doing any hiking in the backcountry as I do, uh, the boot is very light and yet very tough. Uh, this heavy duty nylon uh, on the boot uh, is very abrasion resistant. Um, the boot itself has excellent traction on the bottom. It's a good lug sole so it's I, I can verify it's really good in the sand. Uh, very good in even the loose rock, uh, volcanic rock that a lot of our buttes are, you know, made out of, and um, would be good also in the mud, so for sure. Uh, to qualify this, uh, I'll say first of all, do your own due diligence as far as the snake proof characteristics of the boot. Uh, make your own decisions on this. I have made my decision that this is the boot that I'm going to wear here in Central Oregon uh, to uh, prevent any snake bites, uh, potential snake bites. Uh, I've hiked all summer long and uh, I can't say that I've had an encounter with a rattlesnake, but they are certainly out in the field and you just never know. So I wear these, they're comfortable. Uh, they have what's called scent band inside the boot. Uh, it's a uh, lining that will help with the uh, absorbing the, the sweat as you hike in the heat as I do here in the summertime. Um, your feet sweat. It also helps with any odors. Uh, it will uh, actually take care of the odors. Your feet don't smell. Um, the, the boot itself, like I said, is very lightweight. If, if, you cut the, if you cut the top of the boot off, this lower is essentially uh, an athletic hiking shoe. Uh, so, like I said, very lightweight. Now, doesn't provide a whole lot as far as insulation goes, which is fine with me because the only time I wear these here is in the summertime. And uh, that's the only time really the snakes are an issue here in Central Oregon and Eastern Oregon. So that's not an issue for me and like I said it also makes the boot lightweight. Um, so anyhow I would strongly recommend these boots. They retail for uh, anywhere from $190 to about uh, $210 uh, which for a quality built boot like this is a good deal and um, so I once again recommend them. I took these boots out and uh, I walked up Palina Creek, part of Palina Creek with these and submersing them to about this level here. Um, didn't leak at all. They're, they are waterproof, these boots. I can verify that these boots here are waterproof. So it's a very, very good thing uh, to, um, you know, to have that fleshed out for you guys. Um, if you guys ride motorcycles, uh, 
channel, uh, click on that subscribe button. Become part of the community here. Be part of this channel. I, I, I invite you to do that. I'd look forward to, to having some dialogue with you. Uh, send some feedback on the videos. You can just pan down to the bottom and, and send a, a text message uh, to me. And um, so with that, um, I look forward to seeing you in the great outdoors.